Hi, Mr. Ville here. I just want to do a quick uh, promo for my uh, favorite printed circuit board, PCB House. Uh, it's called PCB Way. It's located in China, but the quality of the service and the uh, turnaround time is really pretty amazing. Uh, I've been making circuit boards now for 20 years, and you know, for the last 10 years, it's been easier just to get circuit boards made for prototyping rather than uh, going to all the trouble of doing wire app or perf board or something like that. Um, you can get yourself some free CAD software, uh, Eagle CADs, kind of the industry standard one these days. Um, and now it's actually owned by Autodesk. So if you want to go past a certain size, you can you can pay for that. But typically uh, uh, it'll do for most hobbyist jobs. And I like it because uh, I can do the designs, I can create the Gerber files and just send them off to uh, the board house, in this case PCBWay. Some of the really thing, cool things I like about PCB Way is first off, they have a, a really cheap intro package uh, that is uh, 100 by 100 millimeters, so that's basically four inches by four inches, double-sided board, and if you stick with the standard colors and uh, stuff like that, then it's really inexpensive. The, for 10 boards, it's a total of five bucks, and then you've got shipping. So for about $23, $27, you can design a board, send it out, and within a couple of weeks, you've got 10 uh, really Good quality boards come back that you can prototype so because of that i'll just start with that straight away so this is a design i've just done recently it's a um, motor controller board for an underwater robot and initially i wanted to try out a new motor controller chip and some new connectors so i threw together this prototype um, and i put you know so the the smd pads down here for this um, uh, motor controller chip and i wanted to try using some plated through holes uh, for these um, and some power pole connectors. So I threw together the design. Uh, I wasn't sure about the plated through holes, so I sent an email off to PCB Way. They responded right back and said, yes, they can do that. Uh, I said, well, what do I need? And they said, well, here, here's a sample. And I just copied that, built the symbols in uh, Eagle CAD and sent it out. Got this back in a couple of weeks, uh, cost $27. I got 10 of them, I built one up. Uh, didn't know whether I was going to need to do more or not, but I built it. The, the circuitry worked okay. So then I said, okay. And I, by then I'd come up with some more modifications. So I'd been writing software and redesigning. So then I redesigned it uh, to this design, which instead of five motor controllers in a line, it has six in two, two rows of three. Uh, I added in an extra display module here. And I sent the design out once again while I was updating the software. A couple of weeks later, I get my board back. You notice I've tried some different colors here. This is the black um, circuit board. This is the green circuit board. Um, really, really didn't like either of these colors, but I wanted to experiment to see uh, how they were going. So I prototyped my software on this design, put the connectors on, ran it through the paces, did some you know tests, ultimately decided, yep, I like this final uh, configuration. So I did a third board. Uh, this one I settled on the blue with the white uh, silk screen. Um, this design went out really well. I ordered it in a two uh, ounce copper, basically double thickness copper, because these chips generate a fair amount of heat and I wanted to transfer them away. Um, I went to a full size so I could uh, fit my enclosure exactly how I wanted to. Uh, I went through, got it made, and um, when I got this one made, uh, I actually asked them to make me a... Um, a uh, silk screen for, uh, I'm sorry, not a silk screen, a template for solder mask so I could actually put a few of these chips on uh, and test them out myself as a group. So I um, got this made. I was anticipating this would be my final design. So I actually got them to make 25 boards for me. Uh, I got them to keep 20 of them, send me the rest so I could prototype and do some final tests with the ultimate goal then of having them produce, uh, put all the uh, chips on for me on the rest of them uh, for my first pre-production run. Um, uh, once again, it came back just how I wanted it. It looks really good. I made up some boards, tested them out. It's all good. Uh, I then sent them components, and now um, after about a week and a half, uh, they've made my boards, and now they're on their way back to me. So I'll do an update once I get my boards. But uh, at this point, I'm really happy with these guys. PCBWay.com. Uh, go check them out. Um, like I say, the turnaround time is fast enough uh, it actually takes, once I've made the boards, it takes about a day and a half to get from uh, China to New York. And depending on how far away you are from New York, uh, it can take two or three days to get to your place from, by DHL. Uh, the other cool, really cool thing is that while the production is on the underway, you can monitor exactly where it is in the process. You can see that they've, you know, 
done the artwork, cut the boards out, doing this, doing the plating, all that sort of stuff. You can follow it day to day, uh, and then you get a good tracking number. You can track it all the way to your house. So it's really, you know, hard to believe that you can get this kind of quality at that price in a reasonable time. Um, but you know, I guess they got lots of equipment and uh, uh, lots of production capability. Anyway, that was about it. And if you're looking for a PCB house, go to PCB Way.